Good morning, dear students. Today we have a lecture on lexicology. The theme of the uh, lecture is word formation, affixation, conversion, and word composition. The first discussion points. The first, the subject matter of word formation. The second, the chronic and synchronic study of word formation. The third, types of word formation. The fourth, ways of word formation. The fifth, affixation, classification of affixes. The next, uh, conversion is a type of word building. And the next, word composition or compound words. And conclusion. Key words on this theme, word formation, affixation, conversion, affix, suffix, affix, homonymic affixes, synonymic affixes, polysemic affixes, dead affixes, leaving affixes, productive and non-productive. Use literature on this theme. The first, Arnold, the English word, Moscow, 1973, page 40 and 109. The second literature, Ginsburg, a course in modern English lexicology, Moscow, 1979, page 108. Kubriakova, что такое словообразование? Москва, наука. Мешков, словообразование современного английского языка, Москва, 76 год. И охрисы, О.М. Карашук, словообразование английского языка, Москва, 1972. Word building is the creation of new words from the elements existing in the language. Every language has its own structural patterns of word formation. Words like as writer, worker, teacher, manager, and many others follow the structural pattern of word formation of verb plus er. Word formation may be studied synchronically and diachronically. Word formation is divided with this uh, affixation, conversion, and word composition. Other types of word formation are blending, back formation, sound change, and shortening. Word formation may be studied synchronically and diachronically. That is, synchronically, the most important and the most productive ways of information are affixation, conversion, word composition. Besides them, there are other types of information as shortening, sound interchange, blending, back formation. In the course of the historical development of the language, the productivity of this or that way of word formation changes. Example, sound changes. For example, the word blood, bleed, full, feel, foot, feet, strike, stroke was a productive way of word formation in Old English. And it is an important subject matter for the diachronic study of the English language. Sound interchange has uh, lost its productivity in modern English and no new words can be formed by means of sound interchange. In some cases, sound interchange is combined, for example, long, length, strong, strength. Affixation, on the contrary, was productive in Old English and is still one of the most productive ways with formation of modern English. Two types of word formation may be distinguished word derivation and word composition. Words formed by word derivation have only one stem and one or more derivational affixes. For example, kayan, kindness from the word kayan. Some dried words have no affixes because derivation is achieved through conversion. For example, to paper, from paper, to answer, answer, to reply, reply. 
Wood by wood composition have two or more stems. For example, bookcase, notebook. Besides, there are words created by derivation and composition. Such words are called derivational compounds. For example, long leg. So the subject matter of word formation is to study the patterns on which the English language builds words. The English and Uzbek languages differ in types of word formation. Their ways of word formation are also different. A fixation, composition, shortening are very productive ways of word formation in both languages. In Uzbek, conversion, blending, sound interchange, back formation are less common type of word formation. As far as the English language concerned, these types of word formation are very common. We can find a few words which formed by these types of word formation in the Uzbek language. A fixation is the formation of words with the help of derivational affixes. Affixation is subdivided into prefixation and suffixation. If a prefix this is added to the stem of the word appear, it is appear the word disappear, dismiss, or the word like or suffix full to low or is the word built by an affixation. Derivational morphemes added before the stem of word are called prefixes. For example, like, unlike, happy, unhappy, comfortable, uncomfortable. And the derivational morphemes added after the stem of word are called suffixes. For example, hand, handful, beauty, beautiful, law, lawful. Prefixes modify the lexical meaning of the stem meaning. For example, like, unlike or this dislike, kind, unkind, happy, unhappy. Prefixes appear that the traditional opinion, current among linguists that prefixes modify only the lexical meaning of word without changing the part of speech is not quite correct. In English, there are 25 prefixes which can be transferred words to different parts of speech. Example, for example, head, it is a noun, Behead, it is a verb. Bus, it is a noun. Debus, it is a verb. Bravo, it is adjective. And bravo, it is a verb. Title, noun. Untitled, verb. Large, adjective. Enlarge, verb. Camp, noun. In camp, verb. Vo, noun. Pre vo, adjective. Linguists who treat prefixes as a part of word composition, they think that the prefix has the same function as the first component of compound words. Other linguists consider prefix as a derivation of affixes, which differ essentially from root morphemes and stems. From the point of view of their origin, affixes may be native and borrowed. The suffixes, the suffixes sheep, fool, nest, dom, are native origin. Uh, prefixes mis and an is a native origin of affixes. But there are some borrowed affixes. For example, this, anti, b, it is a uh, uh -huh, prefixes, able, men, and ism. There are different classification of affixes in linguistic literature. Affix may be divided into dead and living. That is, uh, dead, dead and living. Dead affixes are those which are no longer felt in modern English as a component part of words. They can be singled out only by etymological analysis. For example, the word admit, here in Latin word is admirate, did, see, flight, and etc. Living affixes are single out from a word. For example, the word freedom, childhood, marriage. Living affixes are traditionally in their turn divided into productive and non-productive. Productive affixes. Productive affixes are er, ist, ism, re, i, ness. Uh, re, un, non, and they are productive prefixes. Non-productive. Art, sea, and don't ship. 
in ear this miss in it is a non productive affixes conversion is a type of word building when the only word building means is the paradigm of word itself thus converted words are words which originated from the first grammatical form of a word and other part of speech of course differ in the meaning of their forms and their syntactic functions for example the word iron it is a verb iron it is a noun smoke it is a verb smoke it is a noun i it is a verb i it is a noun so we have compound words that is we may say word composition modern english is very rich in compound words compound words are made up by joining two or more stems for example taxi driver paying box bookcase compound of word composition is one of the productive types of word formation in modern english a compound has a single semantic structure we distinguish the meaning of the compound word from the combined lexical meaning of its component for example the word pencil case is the case for pencils the meaning of the compound word is derived not only from the combined lexical meaning of its components but also from the order and arrangement of the stems for example a change in the order of components of compound words brings a change in their lexical meaning for example life boat it is a boat for special construction for saving lives of boat life life on board a ship a fruit market market where fruit is sold market fruit fruit for selling compound words are classified into completely motivated partially motivated and non motivated compound words in completely motivated compound words are the lexical meaning of components is easily deduced from the base uh, meaning of the stems for example the word bookcase foot step door handle bottle opener the compound words is flower bed walk up are partially motivated compound words because we can guess their meaning partially the compounds in which the uh, connection between the meaning and the structure and the meaning of compounds are compounds can be not seen from the meaning of its components are called non-motivated compound words for example wall flower a woman who remains at wall and is not invited to a dance the second night camp drink taken before going to bed at night compound words may be classified from the functional point of view according to their belonging to the different parts of speech many of english compounds belong to nouns and adjectives for example noun armchair sitting room looking glass blackboard pickpocket a thief benchmark homework grammar school are uh, these these compound words are belong to the noun adjectives social economic hard working man made well behaved well read dry drink this belongs to the adjectives these words whitewash housekeep belong to the verb we have adverb indoors outside with them and etc so forth from the point of view how do the components of the join together the compound words may be classified into compounds whose components are joined with a linking element for example afro asian anglo saxon sportsman speedometer handkerchief statesman landman and without a linking element snowball rain coat door handle reading room paying box door step compound words are also classified to different ways of compounding in this case divide them into two groups compound words proper and the second is derivational compounds compound words proper are formed by joining together stems of words and these components have no derivational affixes 
the components of such components are simple. Steps. For example, door step, looking glass, table cloth, and bookshelf. Derivational components have the derivational affixes long legged, kind hearted, blue eyed, absent minded. Now we analyze compounding in structurally, phonetically, and graphically. The structurally compound words are classified, are characterized by the specific order and arrangement in which bases follow one another. The order which have two bases are placed with the compound is rigidly in the modern English. And it is the second I see that makes the hard number of words and the structure and semantic classes. The head member is the basis of the, the conditions, both the lexical, grammatical, and semantical feature of the first component. Adjectives like long, wide, rich are characterized by the grammatical forms at the degree of comparison. For example, longer, wider, and richer. Phonetical compounds are also marked by the specific structure of their own. No phoneme changes the basis occur in the composition, but the compound word acquires a new stress patterns, different from stress in the motivating words. For example, with the key and hood, or hot and house, each possess their own stress, but their stems and their words are brought together to make up a new compound word. For example, key hole, a hole in the top into the which a key fits, or hot house, a heated building for growing delicate plants. Power words have their uh, stress patterns, for example, high or unit stress on the first components, as in the honeymoon doorway, a double stress with the primary stress on the first compounds and the secondary stress on the second component, for example, blood vessel, maid doctor, and washing machine. Graphically, most components have two types of spelling. They are spelled either solidly or with the hyphen. Both types of spelling uh, then accomplished by structural and phonetic peculiarities serve as a sufficient indication of inseparability of the compound words is the conditions of phrases. It is true that the hyphenated spelling it is itself may be sometimes misleading as it may be used in the word groups to emphasize that they are a phraseological character as in the daughter in law, man of war, brother in forms, brother in law, sister in law, father in law, mother in law. Compound words may be des described from the different <coughs> view and consequently may be classified according to the different principles. They may be viewed from the point of view. The first of general and degrees of semantic independence of components. The second of the part of speech compound words represent of the me meanings. The third of the means of the composition used to link with the two IC together, of the type of ICs that are brought together to form a compound. Compound words differ from free word groups. They are inseparable vocabulary units, compound words structurally, phonetically, and graphically are inseparable. Structurally components are inseparable because uh, if we change the places of the components of compound, we see the changes, meaning is compound or they will not be compounds. Other linguistic phenomena we can approach to the study of compounds, synchronically and dichronically. Synchronically, we study the structural and semantic patterns of compound words, while diachronically, we study the variant changes compound words appear in the language. Some components which were formed in Old English can be considered compound words. The morphological structure of the word loses the meaning and undergoes phonetically changes. This case is called simplification. For example, woman, uh, with man, woman, person, Dazere uh, old English, Dazere these eyes. Many compounds are polysemantic. The verb uh, to 
white wash has the following meanings. For example, make white wash with white wash, a glass of cover up used in crimes, but their policy is not based on the policy of their constitution. They develop the policy of their own. So compound words are made up of two IC, both of which are derivational basis and, and conclusion. The second, the structural and semantic center of the compound is its second IC, which is peculiarities of part of speech. The third, phonetically compound words are marked by three stress patterns, a unit stress, a double stress, and level stress. The fourth, graphically as a rule, compounds are marked with the type of spelling, solid spelling and hyphenate spelling. Derivational patterns is compound words may be mono and polysemantic. The meaning of the compound words is derived from the combined lexical meanings of the compound components and the meaning of derivational patterns. So we came such conclusion that word building is important resource of enriching the vocabulary. Derivation, composition, and conversion are the most productive ways of word building in the English language. They newly built words usually belong to the vocabulary. Thank you for your attention, students. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Well, how many types of word formation have you learned? The first question. These questions, well, you will write it down, please, students. Well, the first question, how many types of word formation have you learned? The second question, do you know other types of word formation? The third, in which ways word formation may be studied? The fourth, can you give examples for affixation? The next, what about for prefixation? Give in examples for compound nouns and what is conversion? Well, have you written these questions? Well, if you have questions, you may put. If you have no, no questions, I will end my lecture. That is uh, with formation, affixation, conversion, and with composition. You also love? Huh? Stop. 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 Stop.